Hello, I'm Matthew Connor. Today I'm going to compare the TaylorMade Speedblade iron to Titleist AP2 iron. As you can see with the Speedblade you've got this dark smoke finish, quite a short blade with a high face. With the AP2 you've got this satin polish finish with a forged head with a bright cavity. So I'm going to hit the AP2 first, let's see how this one performs. I've got flight scope switched on. All right. Yeah, that was a nice strike. What you'd expect, Titleist solid feel. Now, both companies have gone down different routes. Titleist have gone for more forgiveness, so they've placed some tungsten weights in the heel and the toe to help with playability. And TaylorMade have gone all out power with strength and loft and the speed blade. Now, both companies say that the irons are forgiving, so I'm just gonna see how forgiving they are. I'm gonna place some face tape on the club. My normal left-handed face tape, so the readings will be backwards. Let's try and strike this one from the turn, see how forgiving it is. Right. Yeah, I caught that one off the toe, but it still felt fairly solid. You'll be able to see how far from the toe hit it, so it wasn't one of the best of strikes. But to be honest, looking down at the club, it looks like it's got a much thinner top line than the speed blade, and there's not as much offset, so it looks more favourable to work the ball. So I'm just going to see how easy they are to work the shots. I'll just grab a ball from the creative bag, and what shot have we got today? Low and straight. So I should be fairly good at these growing up on a seaside course. That's how easy it is to keep the ball low. Right. Nice, I've struck that one great. And it's keeping nice and low. So I'm gonna give the speed blade iron a rip now. Let's see how this one performs. Now they feel very similar in balance, but I know the heads have been tweaked a lot with the speed blade. So the AP2 I was using a six iron, with the speed blade I'm using a seven iron. Now the loft with the AP2 is 30 degrees and the length was 37 and a half. With the speed blade, the seven iron's 30 degrees, 30.5 uh, degrees and 37 inches long. So I reckon they're gonna perform very similar in distance. Let's see how this one goes. Oh, I've struck that one nice as well, and I would say it feels a bit more powerful than the AP2, and I guess that's down to the speed pocket that they've made a little bit longer and a bit wider than the original in the Rocket Blade. Now, I know this is meant to be a comparison, I hit the AP2 from the toe, but TaylorMade said they've designed the speed blade to be more forgiving from off-centre hits from the bottom of the club face, so I'm just going to play some face tape on the club, try and mis-strike one from the bottom grooves, and just see how well it performs, see how forgiving it is. Right, let's try and catch one off the bottom. Yeah, I caught that one off the bottom, but to be honest, I probably don't even see that much difference in flight compared to my own clubs. You can see how far from the bottom I hit it, so it wasn't the best of strikes, but what I didn't get is a lot of vibrations up the shaft, that's quite nice. Now I'm just going to see how easy it is to keep the ball low, let's see if I can hit the same creative shot as I did with the AP2. Low and straight. Yeah, it was a good hit, but it's definitely launching higher than the AP2, and I'm guessing that's down to a slightly thicker sole and a lighter shaft. This speed blade shaft's a higher launching shaft compared to the AP2. Has a dynamic goal that's a lower launching shaft. Now, I'm just going to see how far the ball's travelled. Total distance 178 with the AP2 and 169 with the speed blade. So I'd say with equivalent irons, the speed blade would be a little bit longer. So I suppose it's time for me to sum these irons up. It reminds me of two guys in the nightclub, one being the AP2, the smooth guy next to the bar, sipping his crystal with his smooth chat up lines, and the speed blade, that slightly chunky guy, busting some power moves on the dance floor, exhausting his prey. So anyway, let me know what you think about these irons. Play some comments below. Thanks for watching. What do you like the game? Come on then. Help all the golfers in the world, I need your help. Contact me, let me know what equipment you'd like reviewed and what drills you'd like me to cover. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.